Have you ever considered how many connectors are in your car? Okay, maybe it's just me. Well, it's a lot. <laughs> For today's demanding automotive applications, we need high-speed interface connectors that are robust and reliable, ensure sufficient mating, supports a variety of signal protocols, standards, and a whole lot more. One solution that fits perfectly into this arena is the Hirose AU1 connector. And folks, that's exactly what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Nathan Moskal from Hirose and I explore the benefits of Hirose's AU1 connector and the robust automotive features included in this solution. We also investigate how the connector position assurance of this solution can assist with mismating and the variety of applications that can take advantage of the AU1 connector. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Morose. Hi, Nathan. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to share with you today some information on an exciting and relatively new offering in Hirose's portfolio, which is a product that allows our customers to ensure high-speed wired connections in demanding environments. Fantastic. Okay, so let's talk about that. So let's get into the details of Hirose's high-speed interface connections with your AU1 connector. So Nathan, what kind of benefits are we talking about with this solution? So this product is kind of a more advanced version of our already available CX series USB Type-C. So this was a original product first created as a custom design for demands in the EV market. And it's a reliable, robust, and compact means for high-speed connections in both automotive and any other markets. Fantastic. So Nathan, what was the motivation to create this solution? Yeah, so the development of this product began with the simple question, can Hirose create a shielded, high-speed, high-pin count connector capable of various signaling protocols, such as USB and DisplayPort 1.4? Well, <laughs> maybe that wasn't the simplest question, but we said yes anyway and started to plan the development of this product and quickly realized that our existing CX series USB-C connector had the perfect specs for this application aside from that automotive reliability. So we basically set out to make an automotive grade version of the CX series and the AU1 was the result of that journey. So Nathan, can you walk me through some of the applications here? What kind of subsystems are we talking about? As you can see on screen, we have a great example of how the AU1 could be used in an automotive application. But again, it's not limited to those alone. It can be used as a connection point between a user interface USB-A or USB Type-C port from that to the central electronic control unit for infotainment, as well as the connection between that ECU and the user display. Okay, so talk to me about the plug component of this solution. It's unique for this market, right? It is. So the plug, as you can see on the screen here, has a very rugged and ergonomic design for easy handling. And on the manufacturer side, this plug only actually has three parts. So it's very simple and time effective for cable manufacturers to get this connector ready for use in you or your customer's systems. And additionally, Hirose's right angle plug that you can see on the right side of the screen here is also unique in this market space. No one else has this. So this further adds flexibility to the usage of this AU1 series. Nathan, talk to me about the receptacle here as well. So the receptacle also offers some innovations like that unique right angle plug. The mounting style of these receptacles is a bit unique. It doesn't require any cuts to be made into the PCB unlike some of our competitors. And it also doesn't protrude much over the edges of that PCB. Both of those design elements were uh, incorporated based on feedback from the industry regarding existing solutions from other suppliers. And here at Hirose, we're striving to make your connections easier and more effective, not to you know, add more work to your plate. 
What kind of cabling orientations does the AU-1 support? So the AU-1, as we saw, has two orientations for each of the plug and the receptacle. So you end up with four resulting orientations that you can see on the screen here. Because again, we want to make your design and manufacturing process simpler. And these orientations enable the AU-1 to fit into a larger variety of spaces than some other products may be able to. Fantastic. So Nathan, are there any other aspects of this solution that you'd like to highlight? Yes. Yeah, so I, I mentioned previously that the plug only contains three parts, which you can see on the screen. All of these plug options include the CX series USB-C, like I mentioned, which has been proven in the industry as a quality USB Type-C product. In addition, there are two reinforcing plastic parts that ensure the AU-1's connection is resistant to vibration, shock, accidental unmating, and incomplete mating. And like I said before, because this has so few parts, there's also a lot of design flexibility with the AU-1 on the cable side. Both larger and smaller cables are capable of being used, and what you can do with this product is really only limited by the manufacturing capability of your harness assembler. So what about the receptacle? So much like the plug, the receptacles also incorporate the quality connectors from our CX series of USB-C connectors. Unlike the plug, though, these ship as a single part ready to place right on the board. The AU-1 also supports a variety of different signals, correct? Yeah. So one feature I mentioned earlier with this series is the high pin count. So it has 24 pins which means it is capable of running USB 3.2 Gen 2 signals, as well as a host of other protocols, including HDMI and Thunderbolt. The high pin count of the AU-1 enables customers to have very custom designs, including devoting some of those additional pins for power, grounds, or low-speed signal pins. As a side note, USB-C is not generally recommended for DisplayPort 1.4, but we tested the AU-1 to this spec, and it passed. So it can be run via the USB's alternate mode. Nathan, the AU-1 also includes different automotive-specific features as well, right? Yeah, so one of the great features that the AU-1 provides is CPA, or Connector Position Assurance. It's not going to do your taxes for you, but essentially you cannot close the latch on that CPA unless the plug is fully inserted. This is a great feature to prevent operator error, because the operator can know via that CPA latch if the connector is correctly mated or not. In addition to this, the connector makes an audible click sound when it's plugged together, which further gives the operator confidence they have correctly connected their AU-1 product. So Nathan, what does that CPA look like? So it's a great question. Here is a diagram that shows the steps of this mating. So first you take the plug, insert it into the receptacle, and then only once the plug is fully inserted correctly will the CPA latch be able to be slid in further. And once it is locked, the AU-1 will be reliably attached to that receptacle as per U.S. car standards. And this can help with mismating, right? Yeah, so another great operator functionality benefit is the keyings on this AU-1. Standard keyed and A-keyed products cannot be intermated which adds a layer of protection to ensure that all signals travel down their proper cables. How does the AU-1 compare with similar solutions on the market today? Here's a table that shows uh, some comparison points between the AU-1 and similar products on the market. As mentioned previously, Hirose is the only company to offer a right angle plug, and we require no cuts to be made into the board for receptacles, unlike a mid-mount type receptacle. The AU-1 is in line with the highest available automotive USB Type-C speed of 10 gigabits per second, and it meets both the US Car 2 and US Car 30 specifications for mechanical and electrical performance. So Nathan, talk to me more about these specifications. So the specifications, the most interesting one for me here, and what I'd like to call everyone's attention to, is the current rating of 1.25 amps per pin based on the USB pin assignments. Because the AU-1 supports a wide range of cable diameters, and like I've said before, has a relatively simple construction, this current rating can be flexible and actually be increased. By using higher wire size, customers can fully customize their usage of the AU-1, which gives you more design flexibility with your connections. Think of the AU-1 as a high-speed, high-pin count, versatile connector, 
made to fit all your design needs and protocol specifications. All right. So do you have any examples of real world designs with the AU1 that you can share? Yes. Here's a uh, short success story about how the AU1 was used by one of our customers. So as some background to this story, Hirose had and still has today automotive high-speed connectors that make use of coaxial cabling. However, this specific customer wanted to combine display port signaling with additional low speed signal and power pins all in one connector. We already discussed the development process that sort of came out of that. And at the end of it, the customer decided to use it as the connection between their electronic control unit and infotainment system, as well as the connection between their ECU and Bluetooth system. The AU1 proved its advantages as a reliable, high speed, high pin count, and customizable connector. And we are always looking to help other customers fit their needs in this area. Nathan, can we use the AU1 in other applications besides automotive designs? Absolutely. The AU1 is totally usable in non-automotive applications. Its reliability and high performance make it perfect for agricultural and construction equipment, which both have similar demanding specs and similar subsystems to an automotive application as well as industrial applications where the robustness would be a benefit. Fantastic. Well, Nathan, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, and thank you for having me. Thank you to everyone watching for tuning in to watch this tech chat. If you have any questions on the AU1 or any other Hirose products, check out Hirose.com for more information. AU1 is available through Mauser today. And if you want to stay up to date on Hirose offerings, news, and new products, consider following us on social media. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Hirose. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal. <laughs>